Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can make the chandelier from the kit. I'll leave the link below for the kit that you can get for this. And you'll be able to attach like your own beads and stuff. It'll be just the plastic that'll come with it. But the beads will be sold like at your local hobby store or online. However, we're going to go ahead and go through and make this. It's a really simple kit. It's super easy and it looks very elegant for a dollhouse. It's 112 scale. And it'll hang. Now this is a non-lighted kit, but you could always run wire down on it if you wanted to. All right, so when you get the kit, it's gonna come into a little piece like this. And if you can see, there's the clear part here and the paper here. I've already pulled the paper off because it'll come looking like this. So all you'll have to do is grab from the corner very carefully, because remember, this is very delicate, and just pull the paper off individually around your actual light, and it'll come off that easy. Now, you don't have to pull the paper off of the rectangle or the square that your kit comes in. You just have to pull it off of this. I just showed you on that because it would be easier to see. And then the, the laser cuts through one way. So you'll see like a brownish side. That's the back side. So you want to very gently just kind of press on it like this just to kind of loosen it up. And then I took a pair of tweezers and I just went through and broke it free just very gently until it pops out like that and then without putting pressure on it you're gonna grab one of the corners and get it to pull up and then just pull off that backing and then once it's off it should look like this you should have two types there's that one and then there's the other part where this has two and this only has one. Remember, don't put pressure on it because it'll snap. It's only one eighth inch thick, so it's not like you're working with, you know, a quarter inch plywood or anything. Alright, now, once you have that, then you have the bottom here, and then you have the bottom here. So, the part that looks like the little, like, rounded part, it's the inside of this piece. So, make sure they line up like that so you have them proper, you know, in the right way. Then you just very gently slide them together like that. Now... Once you see that everything works out very well and you get an idea and you know that you've put it on properly, then you want to pull it back off very gently and you want to take some super glue that dries clear and you want to put just a dab, I mean just a tiny little dab on each side. Then you want to take that piece that you just did and you want to slide it back on there again just like that and make sure you have it completely down and then what I do is I turn it upside down and I let it sit there now if you don't have a way of getting it to sit even you can just kinda prop it back up in the thing that you had the original piece in but that is it. That's as easy as it is to put that kit together. It's super simple. Now, there are little holes that are pre-drilled. And I'll show you on the blue one so you can see it. There's tiny little holes. Now, on the burnt side is the back side. So you want to go from the top side. And take something very thin and just pop them through from the opposite side. 
and then that's where you will put your um, string of beads or whatever you decide to use for this kit. And they just fall right out. But you have to do it from the back side. Like they have to come out through the back. Because, you know, the front cuts a little thicker. And it's just easier. And then you see how that still has one there. If I push it in that way, it doesn't really want to go. But if I push it out through... That way it falls right out. Okay, now I'm going to peel this paper off and I'm going to show you some beads that you can order to make the colored one pretty cool looking as well. Let me peel this paper off and I will be right back. Okay, so now I've glued this together the same as this one, and I'm going to show you how to string it real quick, but I'm not going to do the full stringing. So you need to get some jewelry string, and then you would just put this in here, feed your beads, and then go to the next one. Now you don't want it tight, you want to let it kind of like free fall a little bit so it looks like the beads are dangling when you do it. And then you go all the way around doing that same thing over and over again. When you get to the end where the bead is at the very end and you can't do anything more with it, you can just wrap it around kind of like I did here. And there's different ways that you can do. This is one I'm working on. Um, you can add a little bit of the teal beads and stuff and then you can do like teal and clear and just kind of give it like that colored effect and then if you're doing the teal you can just kind of use those all together with that um, here's one that I was playing around with um, these long silver beads you could do that as well and then have them hanging off of the edge of it where this would be hanging down below that there's several weights and if you check your hobby shop you know I'm sure they'll have beads the kit will not come with the beads but you can purchase the clear or you can purchase the teal and I may add other colors in the future but this is the clear already strung up and I'm just using some small beads that come in these little tubes at the craft store. This is an eight to a zero, it says. This is a six to zero, which means it's a little bit bigger. This one doesn't say, I don't think. Oh, this one doesn't really say, but these are the long skinny ones. And then this is an 11 to zero. The higher the number to the zero, the smaller the bead. Or you can look at the millimeter size on some beads. This is an 11 to zero, so those two are exactly the same. And that is what is on here. This is the 11 to zero. And then I had some string beads on here as well. And then here are the long silver ones and that didn't have it in the um, size. I don't know what it was because I pulled the label off and I opened it. But you can also get these beads here. Give me one second. These are a little bit more expensive, but they're glass beads. And sometimes you can find them on sale at like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something. The teardrops is this one. And then this is just kind of like a round bead. And Amazon also sells a plastic version of both of these really cheap. So you might want to check there. Um, as far as millimeters and stuff like that go, I would say that it's not very big. You know, that's probably less than an eighth inch wide for this one. And for this one, it's the bottom is about a eighth 
by about a quarter. So that's about five millimeters. And then the top is about two millimeters by about three millimeters for those. So that gives you an idea of the beads that you'll wanna do or you can do for this. And again, there's all different sizes and kinds. Um, you can buy like a bulk of seed beads and get like a mixed thing. I've done that before when I've done other chandeliers, but what I find the prettiest is these little tiny clear seed beads because they look like crystals by the time you add them on there and then just add some accents in between. Like right here is a bigger one and right there is a bigger one. And then the little teardrops at the bottom with the seed bead hanging from it. And because it's so small, you don't really tell that it's not a crystal hanging. And to do that, bead coming up through the teardrop I will show you real quick the easiest way to do that to where you can lock it in place okay so you can here's one that's already done um, you can put the bead in there which here's the crystal let me grab one of these seed beads for you and I'm gonna actually use it with the color so you can see it as opposed to using it with the clear on clear This isn't going to be like a whole bead tutorial or anything because I'm just not doing that. All right, so you want to feed your bead through. Oop. Feed your bead through. And then you want to fold it just like that. Now, for the top piece, You're going to make sure those two are even so it's easier to access. And then you're going to feed them both through the hole that's in the bottom of the teardrop. And then pull it down. The easiest way to pull it down is to use some pliers. And then there you would have where you can hang it and then you would just feed it through with the rest of the way through this I go in one way and I fold it around and then I come back the opposite way And once you have it in there, you can just go left and go right and wrap it around one time and then cut it off. And then that's how you would hang a teal bead off of that. And as you can see, that teal actually brings out that teal in this chandelier. And then you just take this and you can feed the wire in all of these little holes. So you can add as much or as little as you want. And it's the same way with the clear, but like I said, you can't really see the clear, so that's why I'm showing it to you in the teal. All right, well, thanks for watching, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll put the link below to this kit if you want to purchase it for the chandelier. Again, you'll have to purchase the beads separately, but the kit will come with the two pieces that make the chandelier. All right, and it is made out of cast acrylic. Thank you. One eighth inch as well. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below, and I will see you in the next video.